once upon a time, there were sea creatures. There were beaches, there were beautiful lakes and rivers. Back then, we didn't care. We didn't think. We didn't realise. Only now do we know that we can't blame climate change itself because we were the ones that were putting the bad greenhouse gas into the ozone layer. First of all, greenhouse gases. Humans ourselves released a bad greenhouse gas called carbon dioxide into the atmosphere through car fuel, electricity and making resources like paper. At the time, no one gave a second thought about the ocean and the millions of creatures that rely on the ocean to provide a habitat for them to be able to live, such as dolphins, whales, fish, starfish, seahorses and many, many more. A common problem was erosion. Coastal erosion was when wind, waves and water currents wore away the shoreline, causing severe landslides and deep the cliffs, depending on the type of terrain the coast was. This happened to a lot of New Zealand beaches. Our beaches. Take St. Clair Beach, Dunedin, for example. There used to be a beautiful beach, but now, now there are massive hazards that we could have prevented, should have prevented, but didn't. On May 13th, 2015, in areas where visitors and tourists were usually filled to the brim, sinkholes were beginning to appear. Imagine me this. Your home is slowly moving and falling apart. Everyone knows what the common problem was, global warming, but no one took any action or tried to fix it. Did you ever realise that this is what the ocean animals have to live through? Did you know that the average starfish had to move its home over five times due to coastal erosion and rising water temperature levels? Starfish. Cute, lovable sea creatures. What we didn't mention is that we were killing them without even realising. It had been found that millions of the American starfish, or sea stars, have had their own legs curl up and pull away from their bodies before they turn to mush and die. The reason for this? Climate change. Because of global warming, the water temperature rose and became too hot for these starfish to handle, so the way they reacted to this was by literally ripping themselves apart. A part of this rising temperature cycle was the glaciers. Climate change was melting glaciers all around the world, including our beautiful ones. Only, when this huge block of ice melted, it pretty much turned into a freezing river which eventually flowed into the ocean. Just like rain, some water from the ocean evaporated and rose up into the clouds before coming back down as snow, reaching the glaciers once again. So why was it a problem? Well, the glaciers were melting much too fast for any reconstruction of them, let alone trying to make them bigger. This led to waterfalls and rivers becoming more we and used more to have rare millions after of tourists most of the glaciers every year. were gone. But that's gone now. The water became dirtier Could and warmer, and soon what was once a clear, cool waterfall became a slippery landslide of mud.